Next week will be our spring holiday, so I will take two weeks break. It's not very long, and I will see you again on 15 February 2022. And today we are going to introduce the laser cleaning machines. Do you know the differences between 100 watt and 1000 watt fiber laser cleaning machines? Today we are going to figure it out. If you like my channel, please share it with your friends and subscribe me down here. Laser cleaning has been a trending machine recently. It offers a higher reliability, stability, and flexibility. And the laser source as the core component of the laser cleaning system plays a very important role in this working. Low power laser cleaning machine has 50 watt, 100 watt, 200 watt, which is post fab laser. High power laser cleaning machine is from 1000 watt. Then what should we do when we are choosing the laser cleaning machines? Today we are going to check compared tests between continuous and pulse lasers. Hoping it will offer a useful reference. The tests are from GPT laser source. You can check the GPT laser source website in the description below. The laser sources used in tests are from GPT. 200 watt is a pulse fiber laser. 2000 watt is a continuous fiber laser. We can see the detailed parameter comparison of the two lasers. The first sample used in the test is an aluminum plate, 400 by 400 by 4 mm. The sample 2 is a carbon steel plate, 400 by 400 by 10 mm. The surface of both samples is sprayed with white paint. The thickness of the paint on the aluminum plate is about 20 mm and the thickness of the paint on the carbon steel plate is about 40 mm. To optimize the laser cleaning results, all parameters like the pulse width, frequency, scanning speed, and other parameters have been adjusted repeatedly. Let's check the two tests. Test 1. The cleaning paint layer with pulse laser source. The parameters set in tests are shown here. The laser power was 200 watt. The focal length of the lens used was 163 mm. And the laser spot diameter was about 0.32 mm. The cleaning area is 13 by 13 mm. And the filling interval is 0.6 mm. Repeat scanning and cleaning two times for aluminum surface and four times for carbon steel surface. Here we can see the test result. Short pulse wipe at the same frequency can easily remove the paint on the surface of aluminum and carbon steel. The long pulse wipe. Under the same pulse wipe, the lower the frequency, the easier is to damage the base plate. When the frequency is greater than a certain value, the higher the frequency, the worse the paint removal effect. From the tests, the optimal parameters for cleaning the surface paint layer of aluminum by pulsed laser is number 15 and carbon steel is 13. Those two parameters will remove the paint layer cleanly and basically no damage to the sample base plate. Test 2. Cleaning paint layer with continuous laser source. The parameter set in tests are shown here. The power of the laser is 50%. The duty cycle is 20%, which is equivalent to an average power of 200 watt. 
and the frequency is thirty. The focal length used is two hundred twenty millimeter, and the laser spot diameter is about point two millimeter. The cleaning area is thirteen by thirteen millimeter, and the filling interval is point one millimeter. Repeat scanning twice for aluminum surface and four times for carbon steel surface. We can see the cleaning results. The lower the speed, the greater the damage to the base plate. When the speed is greater than a certain value, the faster the speed, the worse the paint removal effect. The optimal parameter for continuous laser cleaning of aluminum surface is number twenty-one, and the optimal parameter for cleaning carbon steel surface is number thirty-seven. Those two parameters not only remove the paint on the surface, but also cause relatively little damage to the sample base metal plates. The tests are from GPT laser source. You can check the GPT website in the description below. What can we get from the tests? Let's see the analysis and comparison together. Laser cleaning surface of aluminum. We choose the best results from the tests. Best of pulse fiber laser cleaning is A1, and best of continuous fiber laser cleaning is A2. We can see the A1 figure. The paint layer on the surface is completely removed, and the surface appears metallic white, and there is almost no damage to the base aluminum. For A2 figure, is continuous laser cleaning. The paint layer on the surface was completely removed, but the surface appeared gray black, and the substrate also appeared macro melting. Therefore, continuous laser is more likely to cause damage to the substrate than post laser. Next, let's see the laser cleaning surface of carbon steel. The same, we choose the best results from the tests. Best of pulse fiber laser cleaning is B1, and best of continuous fiber laser cleaning is B2. Figure B1 by pulse fiber laser, the paint layer on the surface is completely removed, and the surface appears gray black, and the damage to the substrate is small. For figure B2 is continuous laser. The paint layer on the surface is completely removed, but the surface is dark black, which can be seen directly that a large melting phenomenon occurs on the surface. Therefore, we can say the continuous laser is more likely to cause damage to the substrate than post laser. Do you have other issues on laser cleaning machines? You can write in the comment below. Maybe next video is from you. I will see you next, next, and next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. See you. Bye.